While the Walt Disney Company is struggling to get their feet under them for expanding the theme park's epic universe is coming and the new hotels look fantastic. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and I am here with the specter of Hollywood, Mr. Lou Wasserman's ghost. How you doing, LW? Well, you know, I used to write about hotels and restaurants and stuff, so I'm ready to haunt these houses. Excellent. But running our discussion today will be uh, the guy that I go to for pretty much all of my theme park facts. That is Mr. Vash Guy. Vash, what you got? Well, I think we got a little bit of an update from Epic Universe. Well, at least outside the gates of it anyway, right here. Uh, this coming to us from, let me just go ahead and see if I can do it. Ah, uh, let's, there we go. That's the one we, that's what we like, right? It's, it's, that's the yes, one sir. Uh, Universal Orlando releases opening date and details on all new uh, Epic Universe resorts. This is the Terra Luna and the Stella Nova. Now, uh, there was a time when these got a little bit of a, a little bit of flack because of uh, their design and and uh, uh, whether or not it was executed nicely. But there are a couple facts here that I think everybody will appreciate right here. So Universal Orlando uh, Resort has announced the opening dates for its all new Epic Universe area hotels. Universal Terra Luna Resort and Universal Stella Nova Resort opening in early 2025. And here are the deets right here. We have the Universal Stella Nova Resort opening January 21st, 2025, while the Universal Terra Luna Resort opens February 25th, 2025. And uh, I don't want to necessarily uh, uh, give any anybody a, a strong indication of when this park might actually open, but... With these resorts coming online at around that time, you can kind of see what they're targeting here. Um, we've heard kind of March, April. I think that's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty accurate as far as I can see right here. Uh, boasting a combined total of 1,500 luminous, ultra modern, and surreal guest rooms, Stella Nova Resort and Terra Luna Resort provide even more options uh, for guests to seemingly experience all the drop jaw-dropping thrills of Universal Orlando vacation at an affordable price point, starting at $147 per night plus tax based on uh, a, a stay of four nights or more. Lou, I think that's even cheaper if you stay longer, right? For a week, it's a hundred and... Let me see here exactly. Um, if you'll stay seven nights, it's $134 a night. Yikes. And, and the goodies you get with this are pretty astounding. First of all, the rooms are very beautiful. The rooms, because of those kind of oval-shaped windows, which are real windows, of course, looking out at the world, and they're kind of space style, these are the rooms that are the rooms that should have been at the Galactic Star Cruiser and weren't, okay? They're roomy, they're comfortable, they're two double beds, they'll sleep up to four. But uh, there's other goodies. You get early park admission to the Wizarding World at the other two parks, and who knows, maybe at Epic when it opens, and to Volcano Bay, an hour before they park, oh, open <clears throat> buses to Universal Studios Florida, Universal Islands of Adventure, Volcano Bay, and City Walk. Your room key lets you charge anything at all the resort to your room. They will deliver anything you buy at the parks or City Walk to your room free of charge. And of course, they've got all kinds of lovely pool and hot tub areas and uh, a fitness center that's free and a game room. And, of course, the Universal Studios store. What would it be without that? But they're really neat looking. I mean, I found it interesting that both resorts, when they list their their restaurant choices, dining. Pardon me, dining. We can't be as mundane as a restaurant. <laughs> we have uh, at the Cafe and Market, which is kind of their food court -y casual dining. The Moonrise Bar and Moonrise Grill is one of them I'm reading. I forget which one I'm on, but they're they're similar. Uh, which is menu for poolside, the Luna Bar, and then as literally a separate restaurant, pizza delivery to your room. Well, that's perfect. Uh, that's uh, that, that's something that, especially when you're on a vacation at a theme park, you might not necessarily want to. If you have a bunch of kids and you finally got them into the room, there's generally going to be one parent that says, oh, let's go back out. And another parent, a parent that says, what are you insane? Let's stay in. Um, exactly. And 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 even with a situation like this, maybe they'll both want to stay in. So pizza delivery is going to sound really nice when you get done with uh, an exhausting and uh, let's say fun day at the parks. This uh, this hotel looks really cool. I love that Universal is 
leaning into the idea of the the universe part of Universal and the fact that uh, that this Stella nu- Nova uh, Terra Luna. Sorry, I'm I'm sure I'm getting that. Is it? It's Stella Luna no, and Terra Nova. No, you were right. It was Stella Nova and Terra Luna. And mm-hmm. the, the fun part's going to be when the person coming back to the hotel gets in the bus and says, they ask which one, and you say, I don't remember. Let me look at my room. Yeah, and you can't even say the green one or the blue one because exactly. So many different colors. Try the green one. It's delicious. Um, <laughs> anyway. Of course, Centennial Park. Uh, sorry, I did it again. Celestial Park. That's the uh, the center area, the city walk of uh, Universal uh, Epic, Universe Epic Universe over there. I like that they're putting that space theme into everything. And this is stuff. I, there's a risk that this is going to be dated in, uh, in, you know, a decade or so. But for right now, I really like it. I really like the futuristic aspect of it, the otherworldly feel of it. And the way that the sun hits these panels, it's a, uh, I think uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. And, and mm. from what we've heard from Lorena, who drives by it quite often, you know, these pictures are static, but apparently depending on the time of day and the angle of the sun, those colors change in lovely ways. And of course, right. at night they're lit up. So I don't think it's dated. I think it's kind of kind of timeless to me. Uh, what impresses me also, I have never been a big fan of most of the Universal hotels that Lowe's does for them as they're doing this, because I always felt like they felt less like a hotel theme to a theme park, and more like a kind of a big business hotel at an airport somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but this. When you figure this is in the price range of something like a Hampton Inn or a, or a Marriott uh, Courtyard or whatever, with so much nicer uh, amenities and, and, and so much nicer atmosphere, this is a real deal, gang. And there's a thousand rooms between the two of them, or 1,100, I think it is. To to stay, I mean, you know, with with pretty much direct access to Epic Universe on property for that price for about 134 here. That's that's a really, really good value. I mean, value and resorts at Disneyland Resort, I'm sorry, at the Walt Disney World Resort are like, what, 180 or so starting? And then it goes up from there, obviously. Lou, go ahead. And well, all I was going to say was that deal is for staying for a week. And you might say, oh, gosh, what are you going to do for a week? Well, the answer is if you've got a car, Stay here and drive into the Disney parks if that's where yeah. you want to go, <laughs> or exactly. or to Sea World or any place else. Because make this your home base would make right. sense it's, to me. It's a fair point, and 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 at this point, Disney is pricing themselves out of their their own business here. Uh, they're going for that uh, premium person here, and 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 maybe maybe these prices are something that's temporary as they uh, try to get these hotels filled up uh, before Epic Universe opens the following. Uh, year here but it, it sounds like a sounds like a great time brand new hotel looks like a really neat hotel i'm sure kids would be excited to stay in something uh like this i i i, I really do see that if you're going to be staying there for for multiple days especially if you do like uh like the campbells like to do one day on one day off one day at a at a water park or something like that the closer you can be to your hotel the better it is for that this is something right. to do on the off days, but it's also not so unreasonably priced that you wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be just fine saying, "Well, this is where I'm going to park my stuff and park my kids." Uh, it, it, if it's a place that you're just you're just sleeping at night rather than uh, where you're actually doing your vacationing. I, I I think it's great. I mean, if you compare the offerings at Disney, uh, they have some. They have you know they've had uh, wonderful value options uh, in the past there, but you know those are looking a little look a little a little old old there. A little long in the tooth. A lot more for it. A little yeah, a little long in the tooth. I think and is what I don't, uh, I don't know what the square fo- footage is, but I feel like these rooms are bigger than, for example, the uh, All Star Resorts and those in the Disney category. Yeah. Pop Century and so forth. Yeah, they could yeah. be. They could. They could be. Um, I'd have to get a check on that. But uh, somewhere they, there's these a floor are... plan of the rooms, but uh, they look really, really, really comfy. And you know, the other thing I really like about this is that mm. the pool area is a lovely pool. And they say it's zero entry, so that's a nice thing. And it's got mm-hmm. a nice big hot tub, and it doesn't have some. Pardon me for not being a fan of such things. It doesn't have some dragon shaped water slide everywhere right. that you look you know what i mean as a kid right. you could enjoy it but you don't have to be in that uh it's a theme park Honest right. it is right <laughs> and, and well in a zero entry pool that's that's it's also good for disability access yes that uh, yes. seems to be a hot topic for theme parks 
uh, these days. Also makes it fair very point. nice for kids and families. That means that there is a place in that pool that everyone can play uh, together. So that's uh, that's really cool. Uh, well, is there anything else that we need to point out here? Uh, it's not often we do a video just about hotels, but uh, I think this one from an economic standpoint uh, enters into that business realm where Disney needs to be concerned that they might be losing since they're getting rid of the Magical Express and uh, Disney is still delivering things to the rooms. But it sounds like if you're staying at these rooms, uh, even Universal, who's getting away from those room deliveries in the parks, if you're staying in one of their rooms here, you're going to get your stuff delivered to your room for free. I'm not trying to fluff up this uh, this uh, resort here, but it sounds like a great deal if you're if you're making uh, Universal your first stop and Disney your afterthought, or you're maybe you won't go there at all. And as although this is a factor of when they're opening, we know darn well the big hotel is going to be very expensive by comparison. Oh yeah. Yes. And, so, and so it's good to introduce people to this first to say, hey, if you think you got to break the bank to come here like you do with the other guys, no, you don't. It's a fair point, Lou. Fair point. Uh, th th that is a fair point. And Universal, if you want to give me some uh, free free nights and accommodations for, uh, let's say, six over there at the uh, Helios Grand, uh, ooh, I might be uh, tempted to uh, break my policy about no freebies around here because that thing looks fan. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, that being said, uh, drop a comment below if you are the Universal Orlando result, Resort and you are giving me a free night stay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, anyone else, uh, let us know what you think about the hotel. Like this video if you like this video and consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media account.